Hello, Team Tuck family. Professor Travis here, and in this video, I want to talk about our uniform requirements for our jujitsu students. Remember that the acceptable D colors are solid blue, solid white, or solid black. Kill my yellow banana key? Well, actually, there is one. So what about my cherry red key? Well, listen, you. What about my camo key? It's gonna blend right in. Well, only if you... Uh, okay, there's no way you can say no to red, white, and blue gi. Okay, calm down, Mark. Listen, there is one time that this gi is perfectly acceptable. Where? Every Friday during the day from 11 to 12.30, we have a casual Friday gi class. That is a perfectly acceptable time to wear whatever crazy gi you want, as long as it's not too offensive. Also, if you want to come in the evening time, although we have a no gi class going on, we do have open mat. So that would also be a time you could come and wear this amazing piece of artwork. Plus, Mark, it wouldn't be fair because, let's be honest, nobody can pull this off of you. So true. Also, please remember to have all your patches in the correct places on the gi. That means the hip barrel patch will be on the left side of the chest, the team took patch will be on the right side, these are the two smaller patches, and on the back side we'll have the hip barrel patch on the top with the team took patch on the bottom. The hip barrel patch should be about three inches from the top collar, and the team took patch should be separated from the hip barrel patch by about one to two inches. Also, with the addition of our new Nogi classes, please be sure to wear both the Team Took Rash Guard and the Team Took Shorts. Now, many of you may have different combinations of Rash Guard and Shorts from previous orders that we've done in the past. That's not a problem. As long as you have a Team Took Rash Guard and a Team Took pair of Shorts during the Nogi class, that will be fine. Spats are optional. It's Casual Friday. I've been waiting all week for this. Let's train.